Hello and welcome to the Weekly Weapons Brief brought to you by Battlefield Vegas. My name's Rick and today we're going to be going over the Modern Warfare package. So we're going to have Livio come on and he's going to explain what it's like to fire each and every one of these weapons for you guys. So I turn this over to Livio. Alright guys, Livio here, back with another package that we have here at Battlefield Vegas. Today we're going to talk about the Modern Warfare package. We always talk about a specific order that we go into when we're, when we're shooting these packages here, but this one really doesn't have any order being as they're all very similar guns. Um, one of the most important things I think to talk about that applies to all these guns is the posture when you're firing full auto, is uh, how you're going to hold on to it, how you're going to uh, position yourself with it. And for, so for that, I'm actually going to go into that on, while we're talking about the first gun. All right guys, so starting out, we're gonna go over the AR-15, which in the military we call it the, the M4. <clears throat> this is, uh, makes a lot of noise, it's loud, but the recoil is actually very minimal, just by design on this gun. You wanna make sure that you keep any of these guns, especially going into full auto, you wanna make sure you keep it away from the joint, actually bring it over underneath your collarbone, or at least close to underneath your collarbone and try to square yourself off with, instead of trying to stand offhanded this way, when you're shooting full auto, uh, you're getting jackhammered in the direction that you're facing. So if you try to actually square off a little bit more, you're, you're not gonna be all over the place. You're gonna have a lot more control and a lot more accuracy. Um, the next one I'm gonna talk about, guys, is, is our G36. Your G36, uh, it's very similar to your M4 or your AR-15. However, uh, it seems to have a little bit more muzzle climb and it's a little bit jumpier, but it's still pretty easy to manage as long as you have the right posture and, and you're set up on it. Uh, sights typically tend to be a little higher uh, when, with the way that this gun is set up, just based on design. So you can't always get your cheek tight on here in order to see the, the reticle. So you might have to compensate for that a little bit but it's still uh, even making a little bit more noise, having a little bit more uh, climb on it, it's still a lot of fun to shoot. Another gun that we're gonna be using in this package, it's either gonna be your Krinkoff or an AK-74. Either way, um, this is the one gun out of the four of them that you're gonna notice uh, more of a difference with. Uh, there's gonna be more flash, a little bit louder maybe, but that just comes from the design of the gun. Any variation of the AK-47 was, was never designed for comfort, it was designed for reliability. And, and you actually notice that shooting a gun like this. All right, last on the package, but certainly not least, this is your SCAR-16. And I guess the best way to describe this gun is comparing it to the other guns here. Um, if these guns were like driving an old pickup truck, this would be like driving a new Mercedes. It's a lot more smooth, uh, more recoil management. Even on full auto, doing short bursts, you can stay on target really easy with this gun. This thing's a lot of fun to shoot. You guys will enjoy this one. Thanks, Livio, for going over the Modern Warfare package with us. Absolutely. Join us next week when we go over Das Blitzkrieg package. And as always, leave your comments, questions, interests at the bottom, and we'll see you next week on the Weekly Weapons Brief. Next week.